welcome back, it's in Clever and Smart, and this is episode 2 of the Pinsetter Final Rebuild. In this series, we will take note of everything that needs fixing and fix it in preparation for the final distributor reveal. In the previous episode, we fixed the transport band, cushion assembly, and also remade the curtain assembly entirely. In this episode, we will tackle the setting table and also move back all of the sub-assemblies in place. Let's get started! I'd like to get the elevator and top section back in place to test out the setting table. As you can see, it can move a lot more in the forwards and backwards directions, but not much at the left and right. I suspect that this is the cause of the pins getting knocked over on reset. These table rack tubes are both facing the same direction. As you can see on this tube, it moves a lot more this way than it does this way. So let's place it back at a 90 degree angle. Alright, now that everything is back on, we can test the setting table. Let's just remove the sweep for now, since we already know that that won't work. Alright, that looks promising. Now let's get some pins in there. Yes, it works! Oh, also, another thing that I haven't mentioned before. The NXT robot uses a color sensor to determine where the setting table is. This allows for strike detection, for example. This is what it looks like if there are pins still standing. The yellow area will be seen, and the pins will be picked up. If that was a strike, the setting table would have been lower, and the blue area would have been seen instead. That's it for today, but come back next week for the next episode, where we will fix up the sweep and a lot more. And make sure you're subscribed, because you don't want to miss that. See you in the next one, bye bye.